ask how much or how many detectors do people need in their homes uh, when it comes to an alarm system? You know, do they have an alarm in every, sorry, a detector in every room? Do they just have one or two detectors? And they, they, you can't generalise too much. You've got to take each house uh, as a specific case. But there's a few kind of general rules that I live by whenever I'm looking at someone's house to, to quote them from an alarm system. Um, the, the, it, for me, it's about risk. If a burglar breaks into a room or breaks into a house, they'll come into a specific room first off. How likely is it that they'll be satisfied with what they can find in that room without going to the rest of the house? So if someone comes into, say, the bathroom window, will they be content with stealing your toothbrush and the toilet roll? It's unlikely, I'd have said. So the chances are that that burglar will then go out onto the landing uh, and look at some other rooms. So generally speaking, you won't put a detector in the bathroom. Very rarely do I recommend to people that they put a detector in every single room in the house. Uh, if someone breaks into the kitchen uh, downstairs, again, will they be content with taking the toaster and the microwave again it's unlikely they're going to try and see what is of value in other rooms in the house conversely if they break into the lounge um, and they could easily be content with the mobile phones the laptops the iPads the games consoles that are kept in that room and they might think that's a good haul I've not set the alarm off yet I'm gonna leave now uh, so in that circumstance, yeah, definitely, I would recommend you put a detector in that room. Um, upstairs as well, uh, the master bedroom might have a decent amount of jewellery and loose cash in it and people might think, or a burglar might think, yeah, that's good enough, I've not set the alarm off yet, I'm going now before I do set the alarm off. Um, but if the master bedroom hasn't got that kind of stuff in, then let's not put a detector in there. Uh, so it's about measuring up which individual rooms are at risk. Now you could also say, well, no one's going to, it's not going to be easy to break into an upper floor house, um, or sorry, an upper floor window, an upper floor room. Um, why bother putting any up there? Well, again, look at the individual house. Is the bedroom in question, uh, does it have a flat roof outside it, or a conservatory roof or an extension roof, something like that, that's easy to hop up onto a wheelie bin, up onto the roof, and uh, in, you know, maybe into an open window. So don't discount upstairs rooms as a point of entry. It can happen, it does happen an awful lot. Um, if you need any help by looking at your house, have a look at your house. See which rooms are vulnerable in your house. If you need any help, give us a call.